Hello everyone! Today we'll take a look at the best mini PCs in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these mini PCs, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which mini PC are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Chewy Hero Box – Best Budget Option It's quite amazing to note how useful the mini PCs of the current generation can be. Though small in size, in various aspects it matches the performance of the latest desktops and laptops. Added to the same, since very compact, they can be kept in a small space and are also very portable. With the Chewy Hero Box, there is a significant improvement over the previous model. It has a sturdy aluminium body and is fanless, which means that it works silently. In terms of design, this Chewy Mini PC has been designed very smartly. The fanless and silenced design is indeed worth mentioning, which gives this Mini PC a distinct advantage over its nearest competitors. With the product dimensions of 7.36 x 5.43 x 1.46 inches and weighing just 2.49 pounds, it is indeed very compact and at the same time very portable too. The Intel Gemini Lake 4100 quad-core processor means you can expect high processing speeds that are most necessary in the current web scenario. It has an Intel Gemini Lake N4100 and the RAM of this mini PC is 8GB, which is a significant upgrade over its predecessor, which had just 4. If you're looking for a mini PC, then you need to note that the Herobox mini PC from Chewy is a major upgrade over the previous model, which was also quite popular. Number 4. Azul Access 4 Pro – Best Portable PC Small, silent and inexpensive, the fanless Azul Access 4 PR6F mini PC is the opposite of a general-purpose desktop, but it works well for video streaming or the most basic Windows access on an older monitor or TV. Similar to the size of an external NVMe drive enclosure solution, only with a small antenna and an HDMI connector sticking out the end. On one side, you have a standard USB 3.0 port for your typical devices like external storage, thumb drives, keyboard or mice options, and anything else that supports USB. There's also a micro SD slot for bringing media to, allowing you to transfer your files from other devices easily. It has a Pentium G4400 processor, which is an excellent choice for allowing this small PC solution to provide the ability to actually make use of everything it can do. It can even do it with dual monitors, depending on how you approach it. It would have been nice to see 8GB of RAM as a default feature. This would also allow Windows to be able to spread its wings a little better and the ability to enhance multitasking. It may even help loosen the strains on any limitations to the dual monitor capabilities, However, it is an incredibly small PC, so space is also something that needs to be taken into consideration. Number 3. HP ProDesk 400 G6 – Best Mid-Range PC The first impression of the HP ProDesk 400 G6 Desktop Mini lies in its extremely compact size compared to the traditional desktop case. Possessing dimensions of 17.7 x 17.5 x 3.4 cm, HP's office computer is only two-thirds of the size of the magazine we often see. The HP ProDesk 400G6 Mini is quite new and should serve you for years to come. When it gets a bit older, you can always upgrade it so you can get some extra performance. The HP ProDesk 400G6 Mini is a micro-form factor computer. Micros, also called Mini or Tiny, are one of the smallest size PCs available on the market. The HP ProDesk 400G6 Mini is very compact and comes with a laptop-like power supply, in other words, external. This device is easy to upgrade with additional RAM and storage, but has little to no expandability. Usually, models with this chassis have an optional Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module and an M.2 slot for an SSD. It should be more than enough for most users. For those who need extra flexibility and RAM, go for four RAM slots or more. Faster RAM speeds permit your processor to access the data stored in the RAM memory faster. This is important for the overall speed of your system. The motherboard of the HP ProDesk 400G6 Mini supports RAM speeds of up to 3200 MT-S. In case you want faster RAM speeds, you will need to upgrade your system with a newer generation one. Number 2. Intel NUC 9 – Best Runner-Up 
The Intel NUC9 is a workstation mini PC that offers huge power and a surprising amount of upgradability. A workstation desktop isn't an uncommon offering in the PC world, as they're the standard for many computationally demanding uses, ranging from architecture to animation. This beast comes with the Intel i7-9750H 6-core processor, 16GB of RAM and 512GB PCIe SSD. So there's definitely flexibility with the NUC, and if you already have an SSD and RAM lying around, then that can save you a bit of cash. However, it also means buying one can be quite complex and the price starts climbing rapidly when you begin adding components, many of which usually come with standard PCs. Thanks to its size and performance, it's arguably the closest a small form factor PC has come to challenging game consoles, apart from two rather major points. And that's before discussing Intel's innovative Compute Element motherboard, which weds the modularity of the motherboard with a built-in cooling and self-contained design of a GPU to create a unique basis for a truly potent PC. Add it all up, and it's definitely the best workstation available in mini PCs today. The Intel NUC9 redefines our expectations when it comes to performance of small form factor PCs. This is an impressively small PC that'll make an ideal workstation. Number 1. Apple Mac Mini M1 – Best Overall The Apple Mac Mini with M1 processor is cheaper, faster, and keeps everything we loved about the Mac Mini while changing up both the internals and where Apple sits in the larger industry. That's a lot to live up to, but the M1 Mac Mini does it with grace and style. The latest version of the Apple Mac Mini may look unchanged from its predecessors, but there's a revolution hiding inside – the Apple M1 processor. Apple's first big step away from using Intel processors in Macs. The new chip offers a surprising amount of power, taking on more expensive Intel Core i3 and Core i5 systems and coming out the victor. Paired with Apple's Mac OS Big Sur and Rosetta 2, it will run pretty much anything you need it to, as long as it's not Windows. It's not a perfect desktop, a smaller port selection and support for only two displays is a real letdown, but the overall value you get in the new Mac Mini is more than we ever expected for the new more affordable price. If our Apple Mac Mini with M1 review does anything, it's to highlight what Apple has always excelled at, releasing innovative products with an obsessive eye for detail and a perfectionist's polish. Highly recommended mini computer. Buying Guide CPU the most important factor when it comes to buying a mini PC is the processor. The processor is the computing unit of a computer, and the higher it clocks frequency, that means the faster it can process commands. If you want a decent mini PC, I would recommend one with at least 2 GHz or a quad-core processor. RAM If you want to use more complex and computationally intensive apps, then you should opt for larger memory. Mini PCs have RAM between 2 to 16 GB. If you want to play games and edit videos, you should check out between 4 to 16 GB of RAM. However, if you only want to use your computer for texting and surfing the net, then 4 GB of RAM will be enough. Storage As you may know, nowadays many mini PCs use SSD instead of HDD as their storage media compared to desktop PCs. SSDs are faster because they work with a different storage method without moving parts. They're also lighter and more compact. The range of hard disk capacity nowadays is up to 3 terabytes. If you're a normal user, then 500 gigabytes or 1 terabyte is enough. Connections You should also know that if you want to use your mini PC for more than just surfing the net, it should have at least 3 ports, because they are very important. An HDMI port for connecting to a TV very easily, USB 2.0 and 3.0 for connecting your mouse, keyboard and more, a LAN port for connecting your PC to the internet. It should have some other ports that are not as important as the ones I've just mentioned, but they come in handy too. For instance, a memory card slot, a Bluetooth for connecting to wireless devices, and more.